These are the last few images taken by a NASA spacecraft seconds before it smashed into a five million ton asteroid. And we have impact. You can tell by the celebrations back on Earth, the crash was no accident. The DART mission is the first test of a potential planetary defence system to deflect dangerous asteroids from our home planet. NASA chose their target carefully, a small asteroid orbiting another 7 million miles from Earth. DART approached the asteroid pair Didymos and Dimorphos at nearly 15,000 miles an hour. It aimed for a head-on collision with 160-metre-wide Dimorphos. Cameras on a buddy satellite called Leecha Cube recorded the impact and the cloud of debris. The hope is the crash will slow Dimorphos's orbit, but it will take months of observations to prove it has worked. Immediately, they'll be looking at how much debris is ejected from the asteroid after impact. The more stuff we come out, the more we move. Um, and the campaign to understand that and how much we've really, uh, you know, how much we've moved it will happen over the next year. And there's actually telescopes all across the globe that are going to be looking at uh, Didymos and Dimorphos and trying to understand how much uh, we've changed uh, over the next year. If an asteroid the size of Dimorphos were to hit Earth, it could destroy a city. It's not the size that is, you know, going to end life on the planet, but it's large enough that it could cause a significant problem if one that size was ever discovered coming towards Earth. And so being able to do something about that seems like a very sensible technology to have. No known asteroid larger than 140 metres is expected to collide with Earth in the next century. But only 40% of the smaller asteroids have been found. So if DART proves to have been a success, more campaigns to study and track space rocks will be needed to spot danger early enough to leave enough time to knock it safely out of the way. Tom Clark, Sky News.